function called determinant of a matrix and we are going to start with a 2 by 2 matrix first so we are going to let A, B, C, D B will be the entries and the determinant of a matrix actually is a function but actually we can simply call it a number it is a value assigned to a square matrix so we can only talk about determinant of a square matrix and the definition for a 2 by 2 first of all notation is DET short for the determinant and you name the mention the name of the matrix or you can use the um, absolute value notation but that's not the absolute value of a matrix that's just the same notation but we call it the determinant of a matrix will be simply the two entries AD you multiply the AD and then minus the BC so actually it's a difference of two products of the two um, diagonal entries so AD minus BC will be the determinant uh, of the matrix A 2 by 2 matrix now so that is the all the notation that I set up for you you can quote the determinant of the matrix A and if you put the matrix inside then you have to use a pair of parentheses or you can simply use the two vertical lines borrow from the absolute value notation so usually I would just stick with the um, the, uh, the, 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 the vertical line uh, notation so it's AD minus BC so two examples coming right up find the determinant of each 2 by 2 matrix so A is the uh, matrix with 5, negative 4, first column 1, 2 in the second so the determinant of A will be you multiply 5 and 2 and then minus the product of negative 4 and 1 so I spell out the uh, the work for you. So 5 times 2 minus negative 4 times 1 and common mistake made by students is they don't watch for the signs so make sure you are going to set up the signs properly so it should be 10 plus a 4 so it's 14 and that is a value called determinant. 2 example 2 matrix B negative 6 12 first column 2 negative 7 second column again determinant of B will be negative 6 times negative 7 minus 12 times 2 so it's a positive 42 minus 24 which give you 18 now moving on to find the determinant of a higher a matrix with the uh, higher dimension will be a little bit hectic so I will go slow and so for matrices with dimensions n by n, n will be greater than or equal to 3, we use the method called cofactor method to find the determinant. So we start out with a 3 by 3. And we are going to use the first row and to find the determinant we use the term to expand. So to find the determinant we have to identify which row which column you're using so we use the first row to expand the determinant so let me name the entries A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I so again notation will be determinant of the matrix A determinant of you put the matrix inside the pair of parentheses or you simply use the a pair of vertical lines for the determinant then you don't need to spell out the word DET now to expand the determinant using cofactor method it sounds confusing at the beginning but once you get the hang of it it should be easy now first thing for a matrix each entry will have a sign plus or minus associated to it uh, with it and later on for those of you who plan to take the class called linear algebra then I can explain more but right now to make it simple it's really easy the signs will always be the first entry in the first row first column always will be a positive uh, sign associated with that particular entry and then the rest will be alternating so it's always plus minus plus first row second row negative plus negative and the third row will be plus minus plus ah, but then if the matrix is 4 by 4 then you have to set up the signs again but they are all alternating now the minus of each entry will be defined as follow so again each entry we set up a so-called minor what is it is the determinant of a submatrix formed by deleting the corresponding row and column so I will spell it out for you 
So here you go. So for the entry A, okay, you are going to delete. That means cross out the corresponding row, first row, and the first column. Then the remaining entries. And if you take the determinant of it or of the remaining entries, it will be the so-called minor of A. So I simply copy the remaining entries and set up the determinant for you. B. Again, for the B, it's sitting in the first row, so you cross out the first row and then the. Second column. So the remaining entries D, G, F, I. When you form the determinant, it will be called a minor of B. The third entry is C. So you cross out the first row still, but then the third column. So the determinant of the remaining entries D, G, E, H will be the so-called minor of C. Once you set up the minus, then the determinant of A will be the sum. That means you add the product of. Again, each entry will have a sign, positive or negative, and then the entry itself, and then the minor. So you just need to multiply the sign, plus or minus, to the entry, and also to the minor, the determinant, and add them up. So the determinant of A for this particular matrix now you you see that using the first row. So since A, the first entry has a positive sign, so I don't need to plus spell out the plus. So simply the entry times the minor, the corresponding two by two determinant. B has a sign minus, so B minus B times the corresponding minor. C is a plus, so C multiplied to the corresponding minor. And now, if you're going to, you will already learn how to set up the two by two determinant. So if you write it out, then the determinant of the matrix A will be A times the determinant for the first one is E I minus H F minus B times the second determinant D I minus G F plus C times the determinant of、uh, the two by two is D H minus G E. And now, if you distribute the A B C, hey, then the determinant of A has six terms. A E I minus A H F minus B D I plus B G F plus C D F minus C G E. Now, make sure you don't memorize this as a formula, folks. All you should do is to remember how to set up the minus and set up the determinants. Absolutely no need to memorize this expression as the determinant of a three by three matrix. But then later on down the road, we are going to shuffle the terms, rearrange them, and then to see how we can rewrite the formula as a shortcut for a three by three matrix. So let's just simply take a look at two examples for a three by three. So example number four,、uh, three. Two, three, negative eight will be first row. Six, two, seven is the second. Negative four, negative one, five will be the third row. And we are going to use the first row to expand the determinant. So let's set up the minus. So I set up the three matrices for you. So using the first row, two will be the first entry. So you cross out the first row, first column, and the remaining entries will give you the minor. Three, second entry in the first row. Cross out these first row and the second column. Six negative four seven five will give you the determinant of the、uh, of the my、uh, the、uh, the remaining matrix called minor. Negative eight will be the third entry in the first row. So the minor will be cross out the first row first column. So you get determinant of six negative four two negative one. So now the determinant of the matrix, according to the definition or the formula, it will be the entry two times its minor, the determinant of two negative one first column seven five the second column. Three has a negative sign, so be minus three times the minor is six negative four first column seven five third column. Negative eight has a positive sign, and the minor will be six negative four first column two negative one second column. And now we just expand each determinant. So two times the quantity, two times five is ten, minus a negative seven. 
minus 3 times the quantity 6 times 5 is 30, but minus a negative 28. And then minus 8 times the determinant will be negative 6 minus a negative 8, so you change it to a plus 8. And make sure you watch the signs. So that's why I highlight, okay, the signs. So 2 times first one should be 10 plus 7, so be 17. Minus 3 times 30 plus 28 is 58. Minus 8 times 2. So you have 34 minus 174 minus 16. So the determinant will be just a number negative 156. Of course, the natural question next one will be, can we use a different row or a different column? Well, let's try it. So suppose we are going to use the second column. If you do, then we will set up the minus the same way. So second column, first entry is 3. Cross out the first row, second column. So the minor will be the determinant of 6, negative 4, 7, and 5. 2. Second entry in the second column, so cross out the second row, second column, so the minor will be 2, negative 4, negative 8, 5. Negative 1, the last entry in the second row, so you, uh, second column, I mean cross out the third row and also the second column. So 2, 6, negative 8, 7 will be the, give you the, the minor. Now, next step is extremely important, you need to set up the product. Since 3 is a second entry in the first row, so the sign is negative. So I highlight the sign negative. So it'll be negative 3, the entry 3, times the corresponding minor. 2 will be plus, because if you walk yourself through the sign, plus, negative, plus. So 2 has a plus sign. The minor will be determined of 2, negative 4, first column, negative 8, 5 in the second column. But the third entry in the second column will have a negative sign. Plus, minus, plus, minus. So that's why you highlight the negative for the negative 1. And times corresponding minor. So work it out, negative 3, 6 times 5 is 30, minus a negative 28. They actually give you a positive 58. 2 times the quantity, 2 times 5 is 10, but minus 32, which gives you negative 22. 2 times 7 is 14, minus a 48, negative, so be plus, so be 62. So you should have negative 3 times 58, plus 2 times negative 22, but plus 1 times 62. So add them together, now you know, you get exactly the same thing. So the question that you asked earlier, can you use a different column? Yes, absolutely. I also will show you how to use your calculator. So again, calculator demo. Of course, you should enter your matrix, so by now you should know how. So second matrix, go to the edit, hit enter, but don't forget to change the size to 3 by 3. Enter the entries 2, enter the calculator will go across, so be 3, negative 8. 6, 2, 7. Negative 4, negative 1, and 5. Okay, go out to the calculation screen, and the first thing is always try to pull up your matrix to make sure you have the correct entries. 2, 3, negative 8, 6, 2, 7, negative 4, negative 1, 5, perfect. Now, how to get the determinant is the second matrix. Go over to the math. First item is your determinant, folks. And you pull up the name of the matrix, A, close the parentheses, and when you hit that button, enter, negative 156. But of course, you use this for checking. So do not just give the answer negative 56 without showing the work. I don't think your teacher will give you any points. Okay? For my student, if they do that, I will just give them one point if the answer is correct for no work. So here you go. And I also did this screenshot and I will pull it up later. So next example, let's try another one. So if you know, then Pause the podcast and do this on your own. 
come back and then listen. Okay. So here you go. This time I will use a different row, so I will use the third row and set up the minus. So seven, cross our first column, third row. You have the remaining entries for the minor. Nine, cross out the third row, second column. Remaining entries will be the minor. Ten, cross out the third row and the last column. Remaining entries will be the minor. See, it's getting easier each time. Then set up the determinant. The signs for seven, nine, and ten will be plus, minus, plus. So seven starts with a plus. Then nine will be the negative, and ten will be the plus. Copy down the remaining entry. Set up the determinant. It's easier, okay, to see the determinant and don't just you know look at the matrix. So you have what? Negative four, two, first column, negative one, negative three, second column will be the minor for seven. Determinant of three, zero, first column, negative one, negative three will be the minor for ne for nine. Determinant of three, zero, first column, negative four, two, second column will be the minor for ten. So here you go again, seven times. Negative four times negative three is twelve. Minus a negative two is a plus two. So you should have seven times fourteen, which is a ninety-eight. Minus nine times negative three times three is a negative nine. Minus a zero. So negative nine times negative nine is a plus eighty-one. Ten times three times two is six minus a zero. So ten times six is sixty. Add them up, you get two hundred and thirty-nine. Okay, but of course, sir,、uh, you should try using a column. Say using the first column. Let's set up the minor. First column, you have three zero seven. So three, the minor, cross out first row, first column. You get two nine negative three ten. Zero, cross out the first column, second row. You get negative four nine negative one ten. Cross out the first column, last row. You get negative four two and negative one negative three will be the minor for seven. Signs plus minus plus. So you have three is a plus, zero is a negative, and seven is a plus. Here we go again. Three times determinant. Is two times ten is twenty minus a negative twenty-seven, so it's a plus. So you have three times forty-seven. Hey, second entry is zero. Good news. So you don't need to calculate. Seven times negative three, negative four will give you twelve. Minus a negative two is a plus two. So it's seven times fourteen give you ninety-eight. Add them up. Here you go. Two hundred and thirty-nine. Screenshot. Perfect. Enter the matrix A, and use the determinant function. Two hundred and thirty-nine, and you can extend the concept to four by four, five by five. So this cofactor method works for all sizes. Okay, thank you.